Let's look at the TAR command, T-A-R. It stands for Tape Archiver, I believe. If we look at the manual page, man tar tape archiver and this tells you how to use it here's a description as well as some options there's quite a few as you can see let me show you the basic uh, most useful options before we do that let's look at a graphical environment of what we would need an archiver for Originally, it was created to dump data to tape, and it still is used for that, but it's much more useful these days on the command line for other things. So, in our Unix 101 folder, we have some folders, folder 1, 2, 3, and movies. If we double-click each of these, we'll see they contain movie files. This one is empty, and folder 3 has one movie. Movies contain some movies. Now one of the problems here is that we have multiple folders and multiple files. It's harder to copy, move this around and so on. How what what we'd like to do is make all this into one item or entity, one file. And the way we do that is with the tape archiver. We could drag and drop these into movies and then zip them up. If we have a zip program, let's try to do something similar with the tape program. When we look in here, we see a listing of our files. Let's use the minus F option to make it and we're going to move folder all the folders let's move folder 1 into movies and then let's move all the rest of folders we can use the start command into movies if we do an ls we see the only thing we have left is movies let's clear the screen and look inside of movies and we see movies contain folder one two three and the movie files let's do minus f on that to make it even more clear and these three being the folders we just moved so now we have the single item movies but it still contains files and folders inside so it's still difficult to use commands like cp and some other commands to manipulate it. Let's turn it into one single fi file using the tar command. The way to do that, it's tar, and you can use the option C, and we could use a V. We don't need a V. Uh, v is verbose, so we could see what's happening. An F, and the name of the archive we want to create would be movies.tar and the name of the folder we're going to archive. So we have the command tar, the options, the final single file that's going to be created, and the source, or the movies folder. So everything in here would be turned into a single file. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And we see it being created over here on the left. It's archiving the folder, the various movies, folder 1, and its contents, folder 2, and its contents. And we're back at the command prompt, so it's done. Let's clear the screen and do an ls. And we see we have the original movies folder, and now we have the single file. If we do an ls-f, so notice there's no slash at the end here. This is a single file. Now we could move it around, dump it to tape, do anything we want with it. And uh, we'll be saving, backing up, or archiving movies and all of its contents. Let's look at how we would unarchive 
before we do that, let's go ahead and remove the movies folder. And it's a directory, so you will need to do rmgr movies. And we see the directory is not empty, so we could go through an empty directory, and we could use rm minus rf movies and now it's gone. So if we look here, we have the single file or single archive. And now we have no access. We can change directory and look inside of this because it's all archived or zipped up. Well, it's not zipped or compressed, but it is one file. And in order to gain access again, to these files, files, we would have to unarchive it. And the way we do that is with the same tar command, but instead of creating a tar archive like TCVF options, we could do the XVF options instead. So let me clear the screen. And remember, we have the single file. When we're done, we should have the single file plus a movies directory containing the accessible movies. tar xvf movies.tar and hit enter. And we could see it on archiving before eyes on the left here, including the movies in the movie directory and the various folders and their contents. Now, if we clear the screen, we see the movie folder is back, along with its contents and movies. And that's it for the basic usage of TAR. For more information, do a man TAR and look at the detailed description and options.